welcome to the Stay at Home Shopping Network. We are live in the shop, and this week we the have... The lights are on. Power! What? <laughs> we have power, we have internet. It's like we're a real business. I know. If it's you guys awesome. watched last week, we had no internet. We had to go off our cell phone internet, and we had no power, and it was dark. And you couldn't really enjoy... A delivery truck the... ended our power situation, tore the power off the building, but Jamie had spent all morning setting the shop up and making it look awesome, so the show went on. But this week, we've got power, and I'm going to get, show you guys lots of close-ups, lots of real good texture close-ups, because we've got a lot of fun stuff in the shop right now. I am just making sure that everybody has not asked And I'm going to show you these. I built these. What? These, these, I made these last year. Was it last year? Holiday? Maybe two years ago. Yeah, these they are... They used to be a set of three. Stocking hooks. Well, they're sold individually. They're twelve ninety five. One sold. So now, we... you may be wondering, like, why is that wood so crusty? It's special reclaimed wood. I actually think it's cedar fencing. No. Nope. nope. That's, ah. that's reclaimed. It's reclaimed, yep. It's it good. might even be farmhouse wood. I cannot remember. I can neither confirm I had a deny. huge stack of reclaimed wood, so, you know, I'm not going to guarantee that it's from the farmhouse, but... <laughs> you know, it could be. Hey guys, Jane says she remembers you making them. So we have actually some a few things from last year. I found a big box of Christmas in the basement. So we added these large glitter ornaments that we sold last year only in the shop, but now we have the website. They're a really good deal. Three ninety five. That's huge. It's like the size of my head. It is. Almost. It's almost as big as your face. And then we have two ninety five for the medium glitter situation. And then we also have 195 for the small ball. They're listed separately. There's only two of the big mamma jammas. They're both silver. And then we have a small and a medium. So if you need a big silver ball or two, we got you. We've got this Merry Christmas box. What is this called? It is called the Black Christmas Box. <laughs> that sounds like a conundrum. Uh, we said so <laughs> The black Christmas box. Christmas box of blackness. If you need a Christmas <laughs> box of blackness, it is twelve ninety five. We stenciled that cute. It's working. It looks year. like a chalkboard, so it works really well. We also have this Noel sign, six dollars and ninety five cents. Whoop! New. This Zeb and I stenciled that last year. Other than that, the front display is pretty much the same. If you're interested in anything that's here, just go to the holiday collection. We have about ten sets of gnomes. For twelve ninety five for a set of oh, three. Oh, you got that big painting out. We did get the big painting. Do you out. want to hold it upright so they can see what it looks like? For a hundred and nine dollars and ninety five cents. Was that one? Where did we get that? That was. I, it's thrifted. That was thrifted, right? We've yeah. had so much stuff. Oh yeah, I remember because it does have this scuff, but we don't want to mess with it because we're not picture restorers. I bet you could possibly use a magic eraser to get the scuff off, but I'm not going to try it. Anyways, it's got a nice wood frame. It's called Halfway House. It's yeah, it's got it's a, by a it's like a reprint, but it's by a famous author. What is his name? Um it says H M Share or W M. I could W M, I think. But Mariah's just dropped a link to that. Another new thing we have over here is this giant everything's huge today. We got huge balls made of glitter. We got huge <laughs> wreaths. This wreath is $74.95. It's almost as big as the tobacco basket. This is the one area in the shop that I do need to add more lights to. It's kind of dim over here. Maybe January will be the month that that gets a new light. Yeah, everything you're going to see today you can pick up at jrvhome.com, including my cardigan. We have one in XL that Zeb's going to be trying on, so stay oh. tuned for that one. That looks snazzy. It is snazzy. I don't know if you can handle me in a cardigan like that. All right, so if you missed last week, we reorganized the entire shop. But this week, I did move this bench here. It's been against the window, and I staged it up all Christmas. You want to film from that way so they can see? Yes. We added, guys, I said we were out of Christmas trucks. You keep but finding Christy, more. Christy cleaned the basement, and we found one more truck. One more. So if you wanted this truck... If One we kept better inventory, left. we might actually know that we had that. Well, the problem is, when this all came in, it was like June. It was yeah. before Christy came, and so we just counted what we could find. And yeah, Christy cleaned the basement. We've got one more truck. That's the last one. And then we added this. We stenciled last year. 
I was going to say, I see some more yeah. stuff. So what happens is if it makes it through the season, it goes away until November this year. Well, I cleaned <laughs> out the dead body closet. So framed reindeer Christmas sign. If you don't know what the dead body closet is, you're new here. I have a ginormous closet that you could put a body in. And that's why I put past seasons. But this one's $14.95. We used our buffalo check and then our cute little reindeer. That's new. That other one is also from last year. This is actually from like four years ago. That's I made date. this before I even had a stencil company. So I taped off the lines to make my own buffalo check. I just like randomly wanted this for my house and I made this. And then when I changed my decor, I brought it to the shop. Yeah, it's probably in one of our Christmas tours. Yeah, probably from like four years ago. It's $15.95. And then the tree, I actually made my own stencil. <laughs> it's on plywood. This is a Jamie original. I don't even know what it's painted with. It used to be up above our kitchen, I think, for a while. No, I used to while. keep it on um, the piano when we oh, had the piano. Oh, yeah, that's where it was. Do you guys remember the piano? That's where this was. Back when we still had brown walls. Like vintage Jamie Ray vintage. <laughs> we also, I decorated this little area um, with the little houses that we made. So we still have this. This is the Waste Not Wednesday house set. This is house set number two that I painted and used the JRV stencils. And then I also found, look what we found, Shelly. We don't know how to get a hold of you, Shelly. But we have one more of these ball of twines with scissors. They are $19.95. One of our live videos, Jean heard Shelly say she wanted one. She knew we had one in the basement. She found it, and there it is. Let's see, what does Mariah say? Who plays the piano? Well, I thought that my kids are going to play the piano, but... They took lessons from a friend for about three months, and then they stopped They stopped doing it. <laughs> I reorganized the towel section here. If you guys recall, there used to be a bunch of um, crates underneath here, and I reorganized this. I actually think it looks a lot better. So we've got all of our towels up here, our oven mitts. We've got two sets of the grain sack oven hot pads left. They're $21.95. We will not be getting any more this season. And then we've got cloth napkins. We've got two sets of the coasters left. We've got more of our cloth napkins over here, our European grain sack towels. And I just kind of organized it so it's all eye level. So if somebody comes to the shop and they want to buy a towel, they just go in one place. And these are the only sets of Christmas towels we have left. So you have that one that comes with it. That one is a set of four, isn't it? Yeah, it's a set of four. See, that's what the sign oh, it says. It says set of four on it. Fifteen ninety five for four flower sack towels, which is a great deal. And then the cookies, Zeb, you're... I feel like this could work for guys, too. I'm just a guy standing in front of a salad asking for it to be a donut. Except for guys don't stand in front of salads. They just go get the donut. This one is eight ninety five. <laughs> I think it's really cute with Santa on there. And just so you know, if I make a salad, Zeb's like, where's the meal? What is this? I don't mind eating salad. Are you giving me rabbit food? Here's the thing. I enjoy a good salad, but I also need a steak and a potato and an appetizer before that to go with the salad. Just saying. Les, we do have mercury glass balls. I'll show those in a bit. Um, we moved all of our, so we carry placemats now. So we've got these placemats. They're kind of like a basket weave. Um, like plasticky type material if you want something that's really wipeable. Then we've got the pom-pom placemats. They're $15.95 for the set of two if you love pom-poms. Ooh, those pom-poms. <laughs> they're giving me the feels. I love these because they're festive, but I feel like you could <laughs> use them year-round because they're neutral enough. And then we also have our grain sack placemats. I like placemats when I'm doing like coffee tables or side tables and I want to cover the top. I feel like those are like the right size. Do and you look need what... some ceiling tins? Do you make your own signs at home? So we were sold out. And look what else we found in the basement. We have three sets of the set of four antique ceiling tiles, $12.95. Good grief, what else did you find in the basement? I think that that's it. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. We're finding all the things that are lost. I actually, I don't know if we saw showed these up close. Looks like we have a, three of them. Is this the oh, entirety yeah. of the inventory? No, we've, I think I have half a dozen. I want to put little muffins in those. $13.95. I mean, I'm I not even hungry right now, and I want to put muffins in I those. I think you want to put muffins in everything. These are yeah. really for organizing. Um, the towels, Donna from Crescent Moon asked for shipping. All the towels are flat rate shipping, so I think it's $8.95 no matter how many you order. Or if you, seven ninety five. Oh, seven ninety five. Sorry, Christy yelled from the back the, room. The voice from behind the curtain has <laughs> spoken. Christy has spoken. 
Um, shipping is $7.95 no matter how many towels you order. You can also combine um, soap with that or the um, face wash, all that, and the candles. Those are all flat rate shipping. Okay, I think that's it. Of what We're going to do a flyby of the uh, salt and pepper shakers here. They were there last week. I did, oh, we got these back in stock. So the first week yeah, we had Do you these, say that jadeite? Um, Pipe in if you know how to say it right. We just called it the jade hobnail, so then it's easier to say. Ooh, ooh they that's were sold, sneaky. They were sold out of the large size, because we used to have small, medium, and large. Um, but now they only have small and medium. So the small is $12.95. The medium is $15.95. It's like the hobnail is like anti-slip. Yeah. And I love the green lids. Cute for Christmas, but also cute for all the times. All the times. So I just that, them Are these actual antiques up here? No, yeah, these are like the... Thrifted, found, or left on our thrifted, back doorstep? Thrifted, self-sealing, clear jar with a metal lid. We've got two of Did those. Did we sell the set from no, we the thrift sold. hall? No, that's okay. in the back though. That's in the back still. Um, one of the things I did last week that we'll show you, we've got the cow section. So we've got our blackboard cow next to our cow So these towel. are really fun to do like little signs, like if you have a bunch of little treats or whatever. Yeah, they're 365. You get they're yourself really like one of those dry erase uh, chalkboard marker things. They're called erasable chalk markers. There you go. Those ones. That's, thank you. Thank you for finding the words for me. And then look, me. also in my cow section, how much of for the dough bowls in the background? Well, it depends. We'll show those. These, are these the background? No. These ones are $39.95. These are the European ones. And then we have these dough bowls range in price from like $15.95 up to $80 for the big Mama Jamma here. This one is $79.95. So and let me show you the sizes. top view. So we have the snowflake garlands, but it's it's a lot narrower, which is where you're getting a lot of the price difference. Yeah, there's the old and gray one. This is also $79.95. We've got this size is $32.95. And then we have all the way down to our dough bowl number one. And this one is $15.95. I need about six of those for on top of the fridge. So every time I empty out my pockets, it's organized up on top of the fridge. Mom today was like, I think, I feel like I should deal with the mess on the fridge, but I don't know how. Don't you touch that stuff. So don't That's all it. my important papers and stuff that I need to remember. It's all Zeb That's stuff. like my filing cabinet. The top of the fridge it's is... All Zeb stuff. That's like sacred ground for tall people. We've been really trying to group like things together in here with some of the advice that Debbie gave us when she visited. So we have all the corbels together. We had um, a pharmacy corbel. Those are sold out now. But we've pulled up another hotel, cor hotel corbel. And this is the... Which one is this one? This is old hotel. Which one is this? What is this one called? Uh, I don't know. No, this is the old hotel. So this, this is, is the, the old general store. So this one says old hotel corbel new. Sorry, I need to take this <laughs> off. This is the general store one. Yes. I gave Jean tact it wrong. And these are, are these like oyster baskets? What are these? So they these look are, like they've been in the ocean. These are from Belgium and oh. they are antique mussel baskets muscle. from Belgium. They're like crusty and rusty and we just have two of them. They're in the antique collection and they're forty nine ninety five. So the same size, Jamie has one horizontal and one vertical for you so if you guys love um like old baskets and stuff these are amazing we've only got two of them and they look really good on the wall i feel like like they'd be super cute if you put like a wreath inside of them and then we've got our uh, metal letter box with hooks is 17.95 we just put some cute flowers in it but i feel like you could really make that look good seasonally or whatever hang your apron on it your keys put mail in it here, let's pull it out yeah, so you can see. The flowers, so they can see the whole thing. The flowers are for sale too. <laughs> Everything's for sale. <laughs> um, I'm planning on putting one of these in the back so that way they can put all my mail in it because my mail kind of winds up all over the place here. Today he just slipped it in the door. Yeah, happens all the time. We've still got our display of French soap and face wash here. If you didn't watch last week, we simplified our display up here. We've got our enamel and the big. Um, what is that called? Pot. And then our last Christmas tree sign. I need to figure out what scent I want to bring home with me. I'm due for a new scent. I'm thinking the sandalwood. I've not tried that out. Like, I've smelled it, but I've not actually used sandalwood it to scrub. Sandalwood is my mom's favorite. 
That's mom's favorite. Yeah, that my mom. And I really don't think I've tried tried the lime zest either. It's very lime zesty. Okay. Very lime. Zesty. I'll think on that during the video and make a selection. Um, if you missed last week, we've got new wax melts in stock. Um, sweet lemon and lavender vanilla. What are these? I don't. Are these little wallets, purses? What are those? So these are little like um, makeup bags. This one says "Happy Girls Are the Prettiest." And then these are actually made, they're all unique. They're cantha fabric, pa like pouches made from Indian cantha fabric. So they're Did kind of- Did you used to have new. those in the back? No, these are new. I've probably had them for maybe like the last month or so. Hmm. How much are the letter boxes? Lori, they are, was it $17.95? Yes, $17.95 for the metal letter box, Lori. And it does have a couple hooks on there, perfect for keys and things. Dull Bowl by You. This old and gray one, the one that we fixed and finished, is that one the one you're asking, Anna? I believe so. Okay, so this one is $79.95. This one we didn't make, but we did the finish on it because we had to repair it because it broke in transit. We repaired it, and then we put old and gray and white wax on it. You're welcome, Lori. Oh, okay, so Les was asking about the Mercury Ball ornaments. They're $10.95. These are hand-blown ornaments. They're nice and thick and heavy. They come in silver and gold. And then we have the little ones are $7.95. So those ones are really pretty. We've had them for a little bit. I'm going to put some on the farmhouse tree if I ever get to move in. Yeah, right. it's happening. All right, I think that's it. As far as this side goes, we've got our tarnished silver section. This is kind of the pinky... Area. A lot of a lot of this stuff color. here is thrifted here. Yeah, this is pink and green. We've got our jade eye cake plate here. Those are really popular, and then all of our tarnished silver. From what time to what time is your store open? So we are open Wednesday through Friday from eleven to six, and Saturday ten to four. All right, this is pretty much the same. We're trying to think what we organized. Oh, these are brand new. These are really cute. These are our gingham coffee mugs. And Christy, who works here, she's the one behind Those the back, says she like loves they're them. they're the right size for me. Because they're big and she can fit all four fingers in them. So they're like a really good size. Good for dipping. Yeah, they're a really good sized uh, coffee mug. And I just think that they're cute for Christmas because of the black and white, but they're great all the way around. And they look really good with our scale that we have up here. I don't remember what this scale is called. It's a clock. It looks like scale. a scale. It's oh, it's the vintage style painted grocer's scale. It's fifty nine ninety five. I have one at the farmhouse. And then this is a new piece that we just added in here. It used to be outside, but we sold a piece of furniture, so I rearranged a few things. Um, and we've got this set of three candlesticks. Zeb repaired. If you guys remember, he repaired that one. Jean cleaned them all up. They're twenty nine ninety five. They look much better clean. Good job, Jean. Yeah, Jean did a super great job cleaning them up. They had some scuffs on them. Like they had enough scuffs on them. I was like, oh, maybe we should repaint these, but they look good. She yeah, did she a good just job. hit them with a magic eraser and they look really good. Mariah, that wasn't yours from the dead body closet. Your scale is still in the dead body closet. Oh, Oop, that's squeaky. I won't open it. It does function. All right. Um, let's see. What else do we have that's new? Oh, so do you guys remember this picture that was full of like hard water stains it looked like it was etched that we thrifted it it's called the rounded glass pitcher it's 9.95 which is a smoking deal now that it's clean it still has some light scratching because it's vintage but look how clear that is Jean used our lemon oil the essential oil that we carry and cleaned off all the hard water and then used dawn to take off the oil so that came can... out awesome too Yep. I would have never thought to use lemon oil on that. I know. Jean's a genius. She cleans all the things. Um, and then they pair perfectly with these new glasses we got. These are, Bre I can't even say it, Brera highball glasses. They're $6.95 each. They've got nice thick glass bottoms, and they're made in Italy. So, And they just look really nice with this pitcher. So we staged those together. It's making me want juice, all of that These are all there. the water bottles we have left. Remember last week we had this huge display of them so if you've been wanting one of the copper water bottles definitely pick one up they're $39.95 they're handmade 100% copper and there's some great health benefits they actually if you leave the water in them for like 48 hours they can purify the water it's crazy so if you've been looking are those for, facts are those true facts those are true facts you, they're they're googleable I googled it I didn't just believe the manufacturer all right we've got this set of three 
trees that I made from Waste Thought Wednesday. They're $29.95. If you guys watched, look, I added a garland to that tree. Look how cute that one is. And then I added, I love the ruffle so much. I did a ruffle garland on this tree and then just added a cute little I feel bow. like if we did it again, I would go with the skinnier version. Yeah, tall and skinny with lots of ruffles. But I actually really like this set. Turned out good. We sell, if you guys are interested, we have American grain sacks up on the website. They're $29.95 with free shipping. So if you want to make your own, you could make a whole lot of trees with one grain sack. Let's see, we moved I'm these I'm just going to kind of give them a slow pan. We have these olive buckets. The ones you couldn't pull out in the dark? Yeah, these would be <laughs> amazing for a Christmas tree. I would totally put it, I would like, you'd have to cut the legs of your standoff, but then you could put like bricks in it to keep it from falling over, but I would totally put a Christmas tree She knows tree about that because we've done that. I have to cut the legs off Christmas <laughs> trees to fit them in crocs. There was something else I was going to show, and now I can't remember what it was. I'm just giving them a slow pan of all Give the candlesticks. Give a slow pan while I can reconsider what I was going to show. These are cast iron here. I want to say they're door stops, but they're almost on the small side for a door stop. No, they're, they're, they're not really weapon holders. grade. But they're cute. They're $16.95. Yeah, they are cool. I like all things cast iron. They're $16.95 for the set. This is my chicken set. Remember how I said sections? Chicken section. So we got the chicken blackboard, the chickens, the little fresh organic egg signs. These are all uh, $5.95. Little enamel ornaments. Um, this is the sheep section. We got the pig section here. We got these new, these new towels are only $5.95. They're a really good deal. We, they come in pigs and cows. Yeah, if you have a pig lover, I like this little cast iron bank, $17.95. It says, buy at Norco and save. Norco something, something, something. There we go. All right, let's, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything. Here's anymore. a size reference for you. So you can see how big these are. Those are the little cast iron piggies for the, the place little, cards. The little place cards. Renee says she needs herself a cow towel. Oh, Jane wants to see these. Jane, these are these have your name written all over them. Because you sew, so you know. So the back is tufted. It is $59.95 for this. And it's got the French mattress pleats that are you have to hand do. And then it's got the little pom-poms on the front of the tuft. And then it's tufted in the back. And I think I bought like four of these because I really want a couple at the farmhouse. And I do not want to go to the effort <laughs> of doing the French mattress edge. Well, we've looked at DIYing these several times. And every time we're like, well, for fifty nine no. ninety five, I will buy it from somebody else. So, yes, there's, they do are, they're tufted front and back. I, I think that they are a really great deal for what they are. Oh, this is new. Oh, there every, was a little dresser that was under there. So we'll squat down. So we used to have all this black dresser. It sold this week, which is great because we haven't sold furniture in a long time. And I think I finally found a way to display my paper plates that I love here. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna take this. So we've got the sheep paper plates here and the chickens and the cows, we only have little ones, so they're down here. But I just think the whole display, look how cute that is. And they're kind of like an impulse buy because they're not super expensive, $4.95 for these little plates. So I thought it'd be a good at the checkout counter. And then we also have these grain sorters, which are really cute to like put pens in or skinny little artist brushes. They're $19.95. They're all a little bit different because they're antique. This one's fun. I like the top on that. Anyways, I thought that was a fun way to display my paper plates. They've been like eight locations. I also, you guys probably recognize this bench. No, oh, it was over there where the other bench was. The other bench has storage. The other bench has storage, but I wanted to do a Christmas display on it. And I wanted to keep all the pillows together. Because last week we installed this piece right here. Hold on, I'm going to give them okay. a pan of the pillows the and the pillow aprons. Situation. So these are all of our chunky knit pillows. They're $48.95. I don't know if you guys followed me along with me, but I actually paid $60 for a crocheted pillow once in Zeb. I was like, what? <laughs> Oh, this is cute. I had to, I almost took her to the ER. I was like, what's going on with you? We have one of these. I thrifted this. It's $14.95. It's a big cookie mold, bigger than the other ones. This is the brown bag cookie art. I feel like that would be more appropriate, like a brownie mold. You could make shortbread, a big that shortbread would be cookie. a big cookie. Well, sometimes people need big cookies or a mini Texas sheet cake. Well, I always need big cookies. I'm just saying. I would just use it for decor. I don't know that anybody's baked in this. I found it for $24.95 on... Uh, 
for this cookie mold on Etsy, so I listed it for fourteen ninety five. This is cast iron here if you need a sign to show people where the toilet's at. If everybody's always asking you where the toilet is, for six ninety five, you can be like, find the toilet sign. It could be like a little, like a scavenger hunt. Where's Here's the toilet your sign. sign. I also moved, so we carry a ton of windows without glass. And these were have been all over the place, but I like displaying them here because I feel like they give a really good like architectural detail. How's the glare on the window? Is it all right? Can it's they see bad. it? They, can okay. see, they can't see out, but they can see these. And then I've got all my French pillows. So this is the vintage French. This is actually, we sell just the cover um, for $15.95. In shop, we sell it with an insert. What's that back one look like? This is like a mess messenger pillow. And this one has the insert. It's $27.95 for this French pillow. And then these are down. These are from the Liz Marie collection. So we have number seven. That's actually because there's seven people in my family. So I ordered two, one for me and somebody else who likes number seven. Forty-one ninety-five, and then we've got the marble Give it a chop. And they're down. They come with the inserts. And then we come over here. We've got one grain sack pillowcase left. These are seventeen ninety-five for the lumbar size. We have one blue, and I think three or four of the red. But the blue was definitely the most popular last week. Which is funny because normally the red sells better. Like everybody always wants red everything. All I like our, I like blue stuff. I'll all take of the blue our, one. Um, Thanksgiving signs are on sale, so if you go in holiday section, everything's marked down. And then we've got our pillows. Oh, you have right a bunch here. of these. Yeah, I have a bunch of these gather ones. I don't know why people haven't bought them, but I think they're so cute. They're huge. Look how big this sign is, and it's marked down to it's like thirty four ninety five. And they've got the basket weave texture. They're really cute. Okay, so pillow display. Now all my pillows are together. So comment below if you like the new arrangement. Zeb, do you want to give them a big pan so they can kind of see the store aisles? Here, I'm going to stand back in the corner. I think this might be my favorite setup for the shop because I really kept everything together. Like over here, I don't think we've shown them. This is like our small... We have like... This is the small uh, cathedral window. It's $22.95. We have all the windows without glass, so somebody can clearly come over here and go shopping. This is the mini Charleston. We've got a few more of these with the floral cutouts, but I organized all those together. I've got some crusty like, antique signs, my laundry and the dairy sign over here. This one is the $79.95 for this big mamma jamma. Deluxe laundry. Deluxe. Not to go with the instructional laundry. Laundry, <laughs> wash, dry, fold. We have like eight laundry signs. <laughs> Hometown dairy. I like Anyways. that one. I like the, the rustiness on those. I want Rustiness. Is that a word? Rustiness? Crusty rustiness? I don't really have place to hang them. We found these from last season that we made. $7.95 for these little cutting boards. Zeb and I stamped these last year. This is Noel and this is the Joy one. And then we've got all of our um, aprons. I've got a new apron up here on our mannequin. They range this in price fancy. from like, yeah, $22.95 to, I don't know how much this one is. Don't cook any sauce in that one. This one is like if somebody's getting married. It's like the sexy wedding, wedding apron. What? <laughs> <laughs> this one's $26.95 because it's eyelet. I probably would wear more of this. Thank you. Um, Millie, Millie says she loves my store. I love it too. I actually, oh, sorry, sidetrack. Sidetrack. We got these Noel banners and I've been selling them a ton in the shop since I had them displayed. They're $12.95 and they're all glittered. They're so cute. Is that a blanket that you're trying to show? Yeah. Or a throw? This is a vintage wool Here, military blanket. Unroll it. I like the colors on that. Yeah, I bought it in the summertime and they didn't sell. I'm guessing people well, don't like wool in the summer. It's time though. But it's $24.95 and we have two. I bet that thing's really warm. Yeah. And they're vintage. I think they came from India. They're their military blankets, but looks like they've been they, cleaned. They got a great pattern on them. But if you love wool blankets that will like hold up the test of time, $24.95 is a really great price for them. And we've got two of those. See what happens when I organize and clean? I find all the things. All right, I gotta roll this up. Rolling. Pen from this side.
That's the view from the ceiling there. I double checked. I cannot get any more of these. So if you've been wanting one of the little vintage measuring cups, they're $7.95. We've got two of those. And we have one lonely small Roxy pitcher. These ones sold super fast. Well, how much does that say? Oh, it's it's a quarter liter. Yeah, it's $8.99. So these are um, imported. A lot of the glassware is imported. So is so a liter a thousand milliliters? So that's 250 milliliters? I don't know. No, I think my math is good on that. Last week, somebody sprung for these. These are recycled Moroccan glass. They're like green and they have bubbles in them and they're $12.95 each. I have a few for the shop. I'm not sure if I'm or for my house. I don't know if I'm going to let the kids have them. Yeah, right. Good, <laughs> good luck keeping them out of that. Okay, so we've redid this display. We've got our rolling pin towel. We, this is new from last week. I think this one is $14.95. This is from the Liz Marie collection. And then we also have this tote bag. It's a marmalade tote. I don't think I showed this last week. It's $19.95. Only have two of these. Oh, this one's in free shipping. So this tote is $19.95, but it's free shipping. Woo -woo. So oh, we also have a new, this is our wire coat rack. And we have this, we thought we were, this is another thing that we found when we cleaned the basement. We had a few people that wanted these and we thought we were sold out, but we have two of the bunkhouse towel racks. But we do know that we only have two because we've now cleaned the basement. This is our- I was gonna say, I saw display. those there and I was like, hmm, are they gone? How much is the wire coat rack? This one is $27.95. And ironically enough, we started doing these shop tours because of the situation they closed down the country. And recently, our governor has shut things down a little bit. So, life has been interesting. So, if you're local, we do local pickup. Yeah, if you're local, we're open, but Curbside. we're not supposed to be like out with people that aren't in our families. So, it's really cut down on the traffic in the shop. All right, let's see. Everything's the same in here. I've got our fall signs. Wow, then you need to get more knobs. They're dwindling. Yeah, last week people went shopping for the knobs. I think I have a few more in the basement. But we do carry cast iron hardware. So if you need some of that, check it out. And everybody someone loves it because they come with screws. Someone was asking about tray feet in the Jamie Ray Vintage Group. These would be cool on a tray. Oh, yeah. I think that this, this may be the last one. I can't remember her name. One. She said, hey, oh, we only have one of those? I don't, I'm not well, these ones would also work. I can't remember her name. She said, use knobs off of like covered knobs or something. And I commented on it and I was like, that's a really good idea. But these are fun cast iron. I think they would look really cool on like a small tray. Thanks, Kathy. She says that looks great. Um, Fast Life wanted to know what color these windows were. So we did not paint these windows. This one is like a chippy off white. I don't know if you're going to get a good, can they see the color with the glare yeah, behind? Yeah, this one is probably not. This is chippy white. It's kind of more of like a cream color. Yeah, and then this is stained brown, and then there's a mint one. And most of our windows without glass come in one of those colors. And the colors. mint does have some yellow that yeah, comes through, through on there. Yeah, just through, it's all chippy. But if you search windows without glass, you can find all of our windows that we carry that are just wood. All right, let's take a walk to the back room. We gotta see what Sheila's wearing because if you guys didn't know, we have Sheila's outfit of the week and it's 20% off when you check out. So today Sheila is wearing, let me pull the tag, wait for it, the lightweight tunic. It's 20% off. I think it's like $26.95 online and you'd get the 20, sorry Sheila, I didn't mean to touch it there. You get the 20% off <laughs> when you check out. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. It's the fact that you pointed it out and mentioned it. It's making me chuckle. Is it sheer? No. The only thing that sheer is if you want to show right here. It does here, have like It has some, some in like embroidery type detail here. So you'd have to wear a tank top or not. Nobody's judging you. But the material itself, you don't need to wear like a shirt underneath that. I would wear a tank because it's a little bit low cut. And it's got this. But the material itself is like lightweight but comfortable. And then these jeans are dark wash skinny jeans. They are $26.95, but they're tw an extra 20% off. And I wear a size, so they're like the odd sizes in juniors. So I wear an 11, and I normally wear an Old Navy like 8. 
just to give you an idea for sizing on these. So Sheila's they're junior wearing a size? seven, but Sheila doesn't eat cookies. And then also the hobo bag. So these are $26.95 with an extra 20% off. So those are a really good deal on those jeans. And I love them. They fit super good. And they don't have holes in the knees. They're perfect for winter. They're the winter jeans. They're winter proof. You do not have winter jeans I on. I do not have winter jeans. I actually have really baggy jeans on today. But this is what was clean. Okay, $31.95 for this hobo bag. But it's an extra 20% off. And it's vegan leather. Which isn't like fake leather. It's like fancy fake leather because it's vegan. All right, Zeb's gonna try on the cardigan. We've set it aside for him. So this is the extra large? It goes all the way up to an XL. So will it fit Zeb? We did not test this out, just so you know. I wear an extra large normally. It is, it's right there on the arms. Okay, if you have massive biceps like Zeb. They're not massive. You were just showing me the other day how much bigger. Well, I had to, I, I noticed it in the mirror. I was like, man, my right arm is lot, looking a lot bigger than That's because you've been arm. framing a house. I'm like, I gotta start swinging the hammer with my left arm. All right, turn around, show them the extra large. So, this is all clothes are free shipping, and this is $19.95. So it's stretchy. It's stretchy, so it, it's not restrictive on me. I could do jumping jacks and things, you know. Yeah. So there you go. Will it fit? I Will it fit? It fits. I don't know. See, I can't. I'm having to stretch it to close it. Well, I you don't but, wear it stre closed. See, I'm wearing oh, the small, and I'm not closing mine. Say my B cups are showing. Your B cups. Those might be C cups these days. They All right, you can be. take that off. They might be. So I wanted to show you guys that because everybody always wants to see how they fit Zeb. I'm wearing a small. It's more than generous. Um, I don't think there's anything else that's new in here today. We did. We've still got our plus size cardigans and this sweater. It looks really good together. Is that the same sizing as the one I just tried on? No, I actually think this might be a 3X cardigan. We also have the plus size leggings are really popular. They're $14.95 and they're really buttery soft, just like the joggers. So I think that's it in here for right now. Give them a little pan. Of I'll the give room. you a pan, but we've showed you guys a lot of this. It's beanie weather. If you're ready for beanies, we got the CC beanies. It's here, it's been snowing. We've had our first snow of the year. It's melted off, fortunately, but it's coming again. Saturday, Bootsy it's supposed says, to snow. I'm afraid it wouldn't fit me. I'm not as breasty as Zeb. It's okay, Bootsy. You could just pat it. All right. Um, we also have, you want to show them these Christmas tees? So, the, so is that a Be Kind shirt? Yeah, we've got our Be Kind shirts. And then we've got the two Mary shirts and then the Christmas truck tree. The different colors of yeah. Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary. Knickknack says that I'm funny. I don't know if I'm funny so much as I'm just like real. Like I'm real. You've walked away from the camera, so now you're just talking to yourself. I'm talking to myself a lot. <laughs> I think that's it. That's all we've got going on today. We've got lots of fun stuff. We Make just wanted sure. to show you the rearranging in the good light. Yeah. And just so you guys know, if you are wanting to get things for Christmas and people are asking you, you can do a wish list on the website and send people your wish, wish list. And with the current shipping climate, if you're wanting things for Christmas, make sure you are getting that. How much is a leopard bag? We gotta go back. Is the wish list kind of like when you register to get married? Basically, when, <laughs> when you register for Christmas. This is, my, this is my Christmas registry. Hey, if you're gonna shop for Christmas, you, you might just, as well shop You small. just tell people, you know what? I'm registered at Jamie Ray Vintage. This is $39.95, <laughs> it's the last one and free shipping. This is the last of our overnight bags. We've still got these great boho bags. These are handmade, they're $59.95. And this one is also $59.95, free shipping on those if you love the boho style. I think they look like a very nice bath rug with the pom-pom, it's very cute. We've got our big sacks here. This is a new purse that we just added that you might not have seen. This is $24.95, cute little pink and blue these straps i'm noticing really a trend fabric on top some some sort of uh, canvas on the bottom canvas well, on this the is bottom like a basket weave Look, oh there's those are the same so that's same the, same the trend is they're the same Zip. same same okay yeah, same, same same i see it now we got more velvet scrunchies they're 6.95 with free shipping if you've been into scrunchies but anyways if you guys are looking for christmas presents and you're going to be shopping online anyways we'd love it if you go to jrvhome.com because we try to keep our prices low. We ship fast. In fact, 
we are 100% caught up with shipping. So order some stuff. <laughs> Christy wants to ship it. I do. See, she, she said she does from the back room. So jrvhome.com. If you're wanting like the paint and the DIY supplies, you go to jamierayvintage.com. We have a ton of paint in stock. We've really stocked up. So our shipping times are way faster than they were before. So make sure you're getting those and planning ahead because the holidays are going to get a little bit sketch with the post office and UPS. And we want to make sure you get your stuff in time. It's also crafting season. Get All right. your craft on. Making sure... Oh, Leslie, Mariah just pinned the trellis windows that are $89.95. She just pinned that to the top. So, so you can it, see the yeah. link up there. So you can see that link. Again, if you're watching the replay, if you click live chat, then you can see all the links that Mariah posts. She does a lot of the guesswork for you, and you can watch that on the replay. Yeah, it makes it really easy to go find exactly what we've been talking about as we pan around. We're going to get back to the farmhouse. I got floors to go in. We love you guys. We're so glad to have power. Last week was a real Jonah week. We had no power, then we had no internet, then Redrick lost his championship game, and I broke my phone. Luckily, we now have power. Redrick's over the loss. We have internet. I think you took the loss harder than Redrick took the loss. I did loss. take the loss pretty hard. <laughs> it was his only loss of the year, and Caitlin got me a new phone. Yeah. And a new case, because she said this one isn't tough enough for me. It's not, and I've told you that, so I'm glad Caitlin confirmed it. I feel like it's proof, you guys, that things that are broken can be fixed. I know right now a lot of people have a lot of stress and anxiety. There's lots of stuff going on in the world. But we have all have a 100% success rate at surviving because we're all still here. So things will get better. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us. Catch you guys we'll later. See you at our next video got to tell them to subscribe. Oh, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jane Marie Vengeance for more. DIY. I can't, I can't hit the button before can't that. Can't hit the button.